Hey guys, do you have a small room like mine? Do you have not really much space in your closet? Well, I'm going to show you a good seven ways to fold your hoodies, shirts, socks, underwear, undershirts, and t-shirts. So it'll be easier to put them away into stores so you have more space for yourself, more space to put away more clothes, and it just makes things a little bit more easier in a small living space. So let's get to it. All right, guys, so first I'm going to show you how to do the hoodies because I think the hoodies is one of the easiest ones to do. Now, I learned how to do this from like Google, just searching up easier ways to fold things. So what you want to do is get the left arm and start like a first part of the X and make sure everything is nice and flat. The more flat you make it, the less wrinkles you'll get. And then you will straighten out the right arm. Pull it over, making sure it's all good and straight. Once you have that done, you're going to grab the left side and just do it like a little half. And do that. And you do the same to the right, making sure it meets in the middle. So you have something like that. And then you want to kind of measure it to like where your hoodie like edges are. Because we're going to be rolling this into the hoodie. So... You start at the bottom and you just start twisting it as hard as you can and as tight as you can so that way you get less wrinkles. I think this is called the ranger roll. I'm not really sure. I don't really remember. So you just keep spinning it. And you just keep on going. And you just open up the hoodie. You roll this into it. And then boom, your hoodie's all rolled up, ready to be stored. Shabam! Now we're gonna do a t-shirt. So what you wanna do for a t-shirt is make sure everything's all straightened out and you're gonna go right to the bottom. Once you're in the bottom, you kinda wanna fold it a little inside out. Give yourself like a good inch to an inch and a half. Make sure it's nice and straight. Then you want to check the other side, make sure that's nice and straight. Once you've done that, just fold it over like that. Fold a little arm piece. And do the same to the other side. Fold the arm piece. And then you're going to flip it like this. So that way the part that you rolled over is on the top. And then you're gonna start rolling in from the collar all the way down as tightly as you can. All right, now once you get to this point, you're gonna see like a lip here. You're going to want to put your hand right inside and grab the shirt. Once you got the shirt, just pull the lip over and you will have a nice little roll to put away. And you could put them like this so that way you have more space or even like this and just stack them up. But I like to put them like that so I can have more in a row in my drawer. But this is how you do shirts. Shaboom! Now I'm going to show you shorts. It's basically the same as pants, but I'm going to do shorts so it's easier for you guys to see. So you're going to flip it over and then do the same thing to the waist. Give yourself enough room. Same way you did with the shirt. Now you always want to go a little bit further with the pants just because they are a little harder to, to roll up and they can be more pro pro problematic when you're trying to make it all nice. So you want to put the front facing down so the back is towards you. And then roll it like this. Halfway, like that. And you do the same to the other side. And then you just roll it up as nicely as you can and as tightly as you can.
And the same thing with the shirt. Grab it from the lip part, so your hands like that, and you just pull them over. And boom. Your shorts or pants could be like this. Shippo! So next we're gonna do socks. Socks are really easy, you just have to strain them out and then put one on top of the other. And then you start at the very bottom and you roll it up. I learned through trial and error that once you get to like where the heel is, just fold this, the first one, in half. Half of what this is. Then you keep rolling it up. And then you grab it from here. And then you pull the other side over it. You just grab it and pull it on over. And you make sure it gives you a little smiley face. And it shows a little circle there and then you just fix it up and then boom there are your socks next thing we're going to do are undershirts like wife beaters so just straighten out as much as you can and then the same thing with like how the t-shirt was you roll over the front the little lip to a good couple inches to whatever you prefer but I suggest like a good inch, an inch and a half, just to be safe. Flip it to the other side, make sure it's all nice and lined up with the front. You fold the first half. Fold the second. Flip it around, and then just start rolling it up. And then you grab it from under the lip like that and then you just pull it over and boom there you have it your undershirts boom, boom. see if it stands up yay Next is underwear, which is the same as shorts, and yes, I have Star Wars on these because I am the most epic person on the planet, and who doesn't have Star Wars on these? Alright, so you just fold it out nicely, make sure it's good in the front, and then you place the front towards the bottom, fold it this way, fold it this way. And just roll it over C3PO and Chewbacca's face. Let's keep it going. And then you just get it under the lip. And you just pull it over. And then you got the nice little Star Wars logo right there. Boom, just in case you forgot. And that's how you do underwear. So instead of a jacket, I decided to do a long sleeve. Because the jacket is kind of the same as the... Uh, shirt and um, hoodie so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it with a long sleeve because long sleeves are a little different so what you want to do is the same do this little lip thing make sure everything is good in the back and then like the hoodie you're gonna cross the arm over but the thing with long sleeves, they sometimes cross over the lip, so I kind of pull them back a little bit. I do the same to the other side. And then I fold it over. Fold it over. Flip it around. And then you roll it up again. And if you're working on jeans or something puffy, make sure you keep your hand here. Make sure it stays together because it sometimes likes to open up, which is not good. It makes your robe more sloppy and it's harder to like put the lip over it. And then you put it there, put your hand in the lip, and then just pull it on over. And 
That's how you do lost leaves. Ta-da! Okay, guys, I hope that helps you out. Um, I hope that makes you get more space in your closet to organize more things. It helped me out extremely. I had two sh um, drawers filled with just t-shirts. And because of this roll, I put all those t-shirts into like half of a drawer and have more space for my pants and like socks and stuff like that. I have way more space now. So now I only hang up what I, I need. And all my winter clothes and hoodies are all rolled up on top now. So it's a lot more space. And I really don't have much room, so space is good. i give you a little quick tour. It's this closet, wall, bed and wall, another wall, and the entertainment part. So it's a small room, so whatever saves me space is good. So if you're in a similar situation and it saves you space, awesome, like this video, share with other people who have small rooms so they can help them out, and just give me more ideas of what you want to see. I would love to help out. See you in the next one.